Solvents. These are materials, traditionally liquids, which dissolve other materials into a uniform mixture, like how water dissolves salt to create a base flavor for a soup, or how a cleaning spray dissolves dirt so that it can be picked up and taken away. At the industrial scale, solvents are everywhere, used as cleaners just like that household spray, but in even greater amounts in vast tanks, dissolving different input materials so that they can mix and react in an even way to form the next piece of the manufacturing process. The challenge is that the solvents traditionally used in industry, chemicals such as benzene, toluene, and acetone, are often flammable, harmful for humans to touch or breathe, and bad for the environment when released. Green chemists have developed methods to use safer alternatives in places where solvents are needed. These include water, nature's original solvent, supercritical fluids, a promising example here is carbon dioxide, or CO2. Traditionally an unwanted industrial waste, it can now be captured, and when placed under pressure, forms a fluid that is somewhere between a gas and a liquid. Ionic liquids. Certain salts have special properties that allow them to become liquid at room temperature, and they have electrical properties that allow them to do the work of a solvent in relatively benign ways. And finally, solventless conditions. Green chemists have found that, for some processes, inputs can be selected that will simply react with each other as needed without the help of a solvent. These cleaner alternatives to traditional solvents are already being used in a wide variety of applications, promising results already and likely to get even better as green chemistry researchers continue to push the boundaries of cleaner alternative solvents.